ironic that she would lead one who seeks your life right to you. Help! Save me, Dee! Where did you go? And where are you going now? Help! Her pale face was colored with grief and fear. I don't know how this happened to me. Help me! Dee stepped forward. Wait. Lowering his walking stick, he swiftly stepped in front of Dee, making no attempt to disguise the gleam of curiosity in his eyes as he stared at Rosaria. Hmm. I didn't realize General Gaskell was an expert at making space vanish. Wait a moment and I shall help you. Can you do it? I'll thank you not to speak in that odd voice. Step back. Raising his stick, the Baron slowly began to move the tip of it as if to strike the space. First, we have to find a weak spot. Here's one. In the blink of an eye, his stick came to a gentle stop at a spot three feet in front of him, and about six feet off the ground. I'll seal it. His cane came away immediately. Done. Next. The walking stick pierced Rosaria. The girl herself has undoubtedly become the passageway through space. She must be fixed in this location. The tip of the stick gave off a blue light. It soon became apparent that her cry wasn't directed toward the Baron's actions. The surface of the ground rose in snake-like shapes that tried to swallow the Baron headfirst. A second later, they broke into a million pieces, revealing the Baron and his upraised cane. More cylinders also attacked Dee. Perhaps God was more repulsed by the thought of them touching Dee than the hunter himself. But before Dee's longsword flashed out, a bolt of lightning flew down and shattered the head of every last steely black serpent. Dee! Through her form, the scenery behind her became visible. Oh, no. Before the Baron could jab her with his cane, Rosaria faded away. I'm waiting, Dee. Waiting. Too late, was I? The Baron made a swipe with his cane. That's an unusual walking stick. They say Gaskell got a hint about how to move through space from someone. Will that be your father? Well informed, aren't you? More than ever, I see you are no ordinary hunter. But alas, you're mistaken. The technique didn't come from my father. It came from me. How many centuries, or millennia, had this man actually lived... He smacked the palm of his left hand with the stick. It's also thanks to General Gaskell that this contains circuits to modify and repair the defensive systems. The nobleman's body glowed pale blue. It had been pierced by lightning. (sighs) The Baron raised his walking stick high above his head. The light was drawn into the end of it. One bolt of lightning carried a billion volts. And all of the energy from the flashes that fell in rapid succession was effortlessly absorbed by the Baron's cane. This is a waste of time. Might I ask you to leave this to me? Good enough. In that case... Holding the stick in his right hand parallel to the ground, the Baron stood ready and aimed it at the distant horizon. Modification circuits to full power. The wind that crossed the plane grew more violent... Dee's coat and the Baron's cape streamed out. You'd best exercise caution. The defenses are increasing their power, and they aim to slay me. Though I have every confidence in the modification circuits, I can't say what'll happen in the end. There is cause to fear you might become embroiled in this. If one of us is injured, our showdown shall have to wait for another time. Are you amenable to that? That'll be fine. Excellent. Well then? At the far reaches of the plain, a pale light sparkled, glittering like sunlight. It wavered, tapered, and took the shape of a woman. That's... Sensing something strange, Sergei backed away. As a living organism, his sense of life or death was telling him to run for all he was worth. The woman who was untold thousands of miles away, could be seen as clearly as if she were right before them. And they could also tell she was the same size as themselves. Clutching his heart, the Baron fell to one knee on the ground. At precisely the same time, Dee also reeled.